In this example problem, we're going to compute the development length for the bars shown. And we're going to use both the ACI simplified and ACI detailed methods and uh, compare the results. Our section is a 12 inch by 20 inch beam uh, with three number eight bars um, in the top. So all of the concrete below the number eight bars, um, or it, all the concrete below the number eight bars was cast below the number eight bars. Um, so first we'll look at the ACI simplified procedure. I uh, will remember that our limit for both of our uh, development length calculations is 12 inches. This is the limit for uh, straight bar development. Um, then we can look at our uh, table that we find in ACI. We can see uh, that we're in the first top category and we have number seven bars and larger. So this will be our simplified um, expression. So we know that uh, we have top bars. So because we have uh, top bars, our psi sub t factor is going to be equal to 1.3. And uh, we know that we don't have epoxy coated bars. So our epoxy coating factor psi sub e is going to be 1.0. Uh, so now we just plug all of our expressions or our uh, known values into our development length expression. So we'll have 60,000 psi as our yield strength. 1.3 is our top bar factor. 1.0 is our epoxy coating factor divided by 20 times the square root of 4,000 PSI concrete. And we take this times the diameter of a number eight bar, which for us is one inch. So remember that for ACI, we're using uh, PSI as our units um, for both the steel and, and the concrete here. So this will give us a development length of 61.7 inches. Uh, using the ACI simplified um, procedure. We'll next use the ACI detailed um, expression for development length. And uh, to use this, we need to find a couple additional terms. So we'll need to find our CB, uh, which is related to where our critical splitting plane is, um, and our KTR. Uh, which is related to the amount of steel that crosses the um, the uh, splitting plane or, or, or failure crack. So first our factors. Uh, we still have our top bars. So our top bar factor is 1.3. And remember this is for um, instances where we have uh, more than um, 12 inches of fresh concrete below the bar. We have our epoxy coating factor equal to 1.0. We have our splitting factor equal to 1.0. And this is for number seven bars and larger. Um, and then finally, we have our lambda uh, equal to 1.0, and this is for normal for normal weight concrete. We next need to find our CB for our two different uh, possible splitting planes. Um, so for our cover splitting plane, we're looking at the center of our longitudinal bar to the outside um, of our beam. So our cover splitting plane is equal to, so CB is equal to one and a half inches cover plus the diameter of our uh, transverse steel, our ties, 
So we have number four transverse ties, so half inch, plus half of our number eight bar to give us a, a CB for our cover of 2.5 inches. We'll next need to find our CB uh, from center to center of uh, our bars. So this is uh, our bar to bar CB. So in this case, we'll need to find our spacing and our CB is gonna be equal to half of our spacing. So our bar spacing is gonna be equal to the total width, which is B, for us is 12 inches, minus, we have two times our cover, one and a half inches, minus two times the uh, diameter of our uh, transverse ties, which for us are number four bars, or half inch. And then finally we have uh, minus, uh, for us we're gonna do two times our bend radius. So assuming that the, uh, the longitudinal steel, it, it doesn't reach the outside because it, uh, it's controlled by the, the bend radius here. So our uh, bend radius here uh, is equal to two times the diameter of our stirrups. So if we have two times our bend radius, we have four times the diameter of our stirrup, which will be a half inch. And we have two spaces, so we're going to divide by two here. And this is the number of spaces. So we'll find our S, or the center to center bar spacing, to be three inches. Oop. So to be uh, 3.0 inches. And we know that our CB is equal to half of this, so we're at 1.5 inches. So um, our CB is gonna be the minimum of our cover CB and our bar to bar CB. So we can see that our bar to bar CB is smaller, so this is the one that we're going to move forward with. We next need to calculate our KTR. So our KTR um, is dependent on which of our uh, failure modes we're going to see. Um, so we see that the uh, the critical splitting plane is going to be the second example because our bar our uh, center to center bar spacing controlled. So in this case, we have three bars that are lying on the splitting plane, and we have uh, or three longitudinal bars, the bars that we're developing, and we have uh, two of our transverse ties that are crossing that splitting plane. Uh, so for us, we're going to have 40 times 2 uh, times the area of our number 4 or number four bar, so uh, 0.2 square inches. And remember, this 2 is because we have two bars crossing our uh, failure plane. And then we're dividing by um, S. So the spacing of our transverse ties, which is eight inches, and then the number of bars that uh, are in that failure plane. So we have one, two, three. So n equals three here. So we'll have a KTR then equal to 0 0.667 inches. We can now find our CB plus KTR over DB term. So our uh, CB plus KTR over DB term, uh, which will be equal to our CB, 1.5 inches, plus our KTR, 0 0.667 inches, divided by our DB, which is one inch. And we'll get this to be equal to 2.167 uh, inches. And our 2.167 is uh, less than 2.5, um, so we can use this moving forward. So we are now ready to plug all of our values into our uh, development length expression. 
So our development length is then going to be equal to 3 fortieths times 60,000 PSI over 1.0 times the square root of 4,000 PSI times our top bar factor 1.3, 1.0 epoxy, 1.0 splitting, divided by our CB plus KTR over DB term, which we found on the uh, previous slide to be 2.167. So all of this then times our 1.0 inches is going to give us 43 inches. So this is our development length using the detailed expression. And we can remember that our development length for simplified was 61.7. So you can see that uh, using the detailed method, we can drop about uh, 18 or 19 inches um, by using the uh, detailed method.